Hello there everyone, Raxby here and welcome back to another episode of Mario Kart 8. So let's jump back into the single player in the Grand Prix and uh, we're gonna keep going on 150cc and today we'll be playing as Metal Mario. Um, we're gonna give you a little bit of a preview of the DLC because we're playing with the B Dash or one of the DLC cards from the Zelda uh, DLC pack. Uh, we're gonna play with the GLA wheels, which were a free Mercedes uh, DLC, and I'll talk a bit about that in I'll talk a bit about that during the first race, and then the Mario Kart TV Parafoil. So let's jump into the final Retro Cup that we have left before we start off the DLC, the Lightning Cup. Let's go. And here we go. Tick tock clock from the Nintendo DS Mario Kart. But the le original level is of course based off of Mario 64 Tick tock clock. Which is a pretty cool level, you know, based in the clock and how you could enter at different times. And that would differ how fast the items move in that level. I thought that was really cool. But anyway, I said I would talk a bit about um, the GLA tires that I'm using. Well, they are a free DLC pack that anyone can download for free. They don't cost anything and you don't have to download them. Uh, but yeah, they were basically a partnership um, between Nintendo and Mercedes-Benz. Um, so it was a bit marketing and you know people were like uh, who, who didn't like it were all uh, saying like it's product placement you know I don't want this kind of product placement in my Mario Kart games and I kind of understand that you know I, I definitely do get where those people are coming from it's not really necessarily um, something that you know you would want feel Nintendo needs or should go for especially because well mercedes doesn't really fit into mario kart all that well although i think you know what i i initially thought that but i think they really did do a good job with incorporating it because the style of the carts um because there were three um mercedes-benz carts as well as these uh, GLA tires i do think that the style of them they definitely made it mario kart-esque so it does feel like it fits in actually uh, despite being you know a serious real car um, thing so I, I think they did a pretty good job with it but I, I still understand my, I'm myself I'm pretty neutral on it I mean it is something that is completely optional to download uh, this uh, the cars and the wheels themselves uh, there are uh, uh, parts like there are cart bodies and cart wheels uh, from the regular set like that aren't DLC that have the exact same stats so you don't um, miss out on some better stats or anything they, they just have you know a different design so they are literally completely optional so I always thought a bit you know like I, I don't mind them too much I thought it was interesting a bit of cross promotion um, plus they made it entirely free and optional so I personally don't mind it too much but I can uh, understand why some people do mind but I'd actually be curious to hear your thoughts on that uh, DLC pack. Like, do you guys think that this cross promotion was a good idea? Or are you one of those people who is against it? I'd be curious to hear some thoughts and discussion on that. And here we have Piranha Plant Pipeway, another uh, 3DS course. Um, I personally don't like this one all that much. Um, I, I like its design, you know. I really think like aesthetically, it's a really cool level because it's kind of like um, if, if you know when Mario goes underground in the pipes. Well, we we do see some of it, you know, like, but. A lot of the times, you know, it doesn't feel very sewer-esque. And I think they did a good job making this feel like, you know, like their actual sewers and stuff. So aesthetically, I like this uh, level quite a bit. And it has some interesting uh, parts of the level too. Uh, what I don't like is this final uh, 
bit here. I like uh, when you go in the air. Uh, maybe I, I'm just you know salty about it still, but I've had several races where I got hit by an item mid air there, and it would very slowly put me back up on the track, and I would lose the race because it happened in the last lap, and it was just like, come on, like I can't help it because you're completely out like it's completely out of your control um when you're in the air you know you you can't really control it at all and wow i am getting hammered on the moment i complain about items in mario kart you know the game is like hey you don't like it here let me show you why you don't like it um but yeah i i, I don't know it, it always felt a bit cheap to me in some places otherwise i think it's a really like Design-wise, like aesthetically, it's really cool, but I don't know. Some of the corners, too, it just doesn't feel that nice. It, it, I don't like driving here so much as I like looking at it, if that makes uh, sense. But oh well, I mean, you can't like every uh, track out there. Plus, since it's uh, in this game already... It's unlikely that it will uh, reappear in the next one as a retro course. So, there's that, you know. It, it, it's not that likely to reappear. Because I don't think this is really that much of a crowd favorite either. Like, it's not really hated by anyone. But I, I've i never really seen many people say, like, Oh man, this is like my favorite um, Mario Kart 8 track or Mario Kart 7 track even. Because that's where it originally came from, of course. So yeah, I, I guess uh, that means that this is the last I'll have to see of it for a while. And we almost got screwed over by that lightning. Almost. Let's just quickly get out of here and go to the next one. And here we have Grumble Volcano, the Nintendo Wii's or Mario Kart Wii's most broken track out there. Why was it so broken? Well, right at the start on the left there was this little island that you could get to um, if you played it well. Haha, <laughs> screw you Bowser. Ah, uh, it's fun to use it offensively to the horn, even though it's not. It's mostly, you know, made for defensive use. Maybe you can use it offensively, it's cool. Anyway, there was this little island right at the start of the level. And uh, you could jump on that. Um, and if you could just drive around in circles on that little island, you would make laps. And this would be so much faster. So you could complete um, the entire uh, track, you know, in like under half a minute or something crazy like that. It was ridiculously broken. Um, they, I think, you know, they fixed it here. I'm pretty sure they did. Um, but yeah, it, it was ridiculous. Uh, plus, alongside that, you had another ridiculous glitch. Or, I guess it wasn't really a glitch, but it was something that probably, um, shouldn't really have been a shortcut, but it was used as one. Is that, um, oh no, I'm gonna fall in. Oh no, just barely didn't fall in there. Um, but yeah, you could like jump over here with a mushrooms or something and jump across a giant gap and uh, Cut off a big part of the track too, you know And I'm pretty sure that one wasn't intended to although it wasn't anywhere near as bad as the other one But yeah for that reason I wasn't a big fan of Grumble Volcano back in Mario Kart Wii because it was just so such an abused level and I think a lot of people didn't really like it um, for that reason. Plus, you know, the, the track falling away, while it's a cool concept, it can just get really annoying. Because I've had that I'm like driving over a part and then it falls away underneath you and you like can't quite get away in time. I mean, it doesn't really happen anymore once you're, you get a bit of a, become a bit of a better driver and you know where to avoid it. But I, I've noticed like when I'm playing with someone who wasn't as good at the game and oh damn I mess up. That was a bad mess up in the last lap too. That's gonna cost me maybe. Um, oh man my driving is poor right now. 
but luckily it didn't actually cost me anything. Barely. Just barely. But yeah, I've seen like lesser good drivers have a lot of issue with that. And uh, yeah, it did make it for a bit more of a tricky track back then. Anyway, let's go to the final race and hopefully play a little bit better there. That's right, welcome back to Rainbow Road. This is based off of Mario 64's Rainbow Road, although it's probably the biggest changed retro cup out there. Um, the original Mario or, or the original Rainbow Road from the Nintendo 64, um, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I already talked about it um, in my earlier uh, in the special cup when I was discussing um, Rainbow Roads. But yeah, it was just so boring and bland, and they definitely improved that a bit a lot you know the track is a lot more exciting there aren't guardrails at the side the chain chomps look cooler they added a lot of speed boosts and things like that and god god damn that fire from bowser hurt me badly oh screw this man um but yeah they definitely made it a lot cooler of a track a lot more interesting only the sad thing is is that it is one of those uh, segmented tra uh, tracks you know that's it doesn't have laps and I I don't really like those I just don't think it's uh, fun I, I like uh, gong run and laps but otherwise I guess they were afraid it would be way too long of a track but now it just feels really short to me so I definitely think they could have either made it slightly longer um, and keep it in parts or just you know maybe even make it slightly shorter but then actually have laps. Either would have probably been a better solution uh, for me than what it is now. But it still has great music. It looks absolutely fantastic. So I guess in the big picture, I can't be too mad at them. And it's a wonderfully done retro track, all things considered. Despite my personal preferences. But yeah, let's uh, finish off this final cup by looking at the results. And there we have it, the Lightning Cup. Now that's more like it. That looks a lot cooler than the previous one, doesn't it? Anyway, thank you guys for watching once more. And uh, I, I just really appreciate it. And be sure to join next time because we're going to take on the first DLC Cups. The Zelda X Mario DLC will start next time. So you don't want to miss that. And if you don't want to miss that, you can subscribe below. And uh, you'll be notified when I put it up. Uh, it will probably be next Wednesday though. So yeah, tune in back then and I'll see you guys for that because it's going to be awesome. Bye.